hold there's some big car and some big sturgeon in here. But I'm not telling anyone where we are. I'm going to keep it to myself if it's any good. I am a specimen angler. Oh, look at this. Well, what about this corner then? I can't see any bubbles coming. Oh, I can. There's some bubbles over there. Don't look like carp bubbles, look like bream bubbles. Some fish topping over there. Well, this look, looks good with the island. <coughs> and you've got a, an inlet coming in over here. The fish always like inlets. Brings oxygen. Some more bubbles there. That could be a carp, you never know. A bit breamy. There's some lines along there which are probably duck, but the, the, those bubbles might well be carp. So this looks good, nice little corner. over there could be fish or it could be a, a moorhen or something but I can't see any sign of a bird there's something there oh, more carp angles Good morning, are you fishing up to here? Yeah. Any good? Any good? like the looks of either fishing up to that island or going around the other side to see where the lily pads are. That looks quite good to me. There's some bubbles over there now they look like car bubbles. Are you casting over here? I'm on both corners. Two corners, right. We start off in one spot, give it half an hour, see what happens, and then uh, move if there's no action. Well, there's a carp showing there. There's something going on, on the edge, but that's probably a bird, but it's, it's always up to edges of things. It's really good. This looks pretty good to me. 
I found out someone's casting right from over there to the side of there otherwise I would have fished from over there but I don't want to encroach on his area so I've got that I can see some bubbles right there and it's always good to go up to an edge it's not always the best thing to do but quite often it is there's overhanging um, foliage there but I reckon if I cast right I can get up to uh, the edge and I think that's where the carp will be I can still see more ripples over there so I'm quite happy with it. I've got enough room to cast I think it'll work I think this will work right I'm going to be using sumos today so use them like boilies so I'm going to feed some of, some of them uh, one on the uh, uh, the hook or not literally this time I'm going to put them on a hair because they're big uh, and I'm going to saturate them in sensate liquid because if you've ever done that and you've dropped one some bait in the side in the water you will see the amount of stuff that comes off them particularly with the the dyed one you can see it really visibly so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to, I'm going to coat them saturate them so there's old old pack there Oops, nearly. sensate yellow let's, let's get quite a lot on it really does make a difference probably better off doing it with a lid but I like seeing them all go yellow I mean look how bright that is and then I'm going to do the same with the uh, natural colours because some, sometimes car a little bit iffy a little bit careful about bright colours so maybe one on the hook but these I'll, put, I'll still put the yellow on because it won't show up much on them and it'll still do the same thing because sensate yellow dye any of the dyes is actually primarily sensate attractant with some colour in it so you could use the natural if you want but now they're, look, they're absolutely sopping wet with the stuff it's a nightmare for your fingers I've already got it all over me but it's worth it if you catch quick fish catch, catch fish that was a spoonerism if you catch fish quickly to me it's worth it and sensate is all about catching fish quick because it disperses all this attractant so so quickly and the and the actual baits they're, they're they're quite soft so they're not for fishing overnight and getting one bite in a week these actually dissolve from the outside and give off loads and loads of attractant so and they've got sensate in them as well so everything is designed to get bites quickly i'm going to be using a, a method feeder as well even though i'm using massive bait I'm going to be using a method feeder because it really does attract the fish to the hook bait, which is what you want. This is squeeze ready method mix. You can see all the particles in there. And that's more than enough for one session. And to really, really, really boost it again, I stick a load of this on and then I stir it up with the actual, <laughs> with the bottles. Just try and minimise how much I get on my fingers because it do, really does stink. Fish love it, that's all that matters. So there you go. Done. Method feeder mix, possibly hook bait, feed. Perfect. That's what you need. The ones over, over to that pool. Some of the big ones over to that. Yeah, because you want to use it up a bit because yeah. it's a bit more accessible for people over there. Yeah. Um, Well, that didn't take long either. It was a bit slower than I thought. It was probably about 10 minutes. And where are you going, mate? The little one. Doggy, aren't they? And that might be a bit bigger than you think. Doing a lot of head jiggling. Six, seven pound? That'll do. Ow, ow, ow. Nettles. Common.
lovely. That'll do me. Tell you what, gorgeous fish, them aren't they? Look yeah. at the condition of them. I know, good nick, isn't it? Doesn't look like it's been caught before, I mean, it must have been, but no marks in there. Nice, isn't it? Pretty good, though. He's got rid of that dye, hasn't it? Yeah, sucked it all off. Yeah. How long did that take? I'm going to say three minutes. Three minutes, yeah. I don't think it's picky big, but I'm very grateful. <laughs> I'm always grateful. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bit one of those crazy ones that's going left and then right and then straight ahead and then back again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Pulling when it pulls. There are sturgeon in there. I've never played a sturgeon. Oh, it's come off. This is where I say damn it again. Damn it. Oh, it come off. Well, they're there anyway. So I'm going to get some more bait out. The first thing I'm going to do is get some more bait out. They obviously love it. So there's been, there's been people fishing here with three rods all morning. Three people. There's like one fish between them. Oops. Got my range wrong. That's why I only put one at a time. Oh, wrong the other way. Get there. That's better. Well, the good news was that wasn't a particularly big one. I'd say sort of six, seven pounds, something like that. But I, I'm just like catching fish. I really do. I'll put a couple of those yellow ones there as well. You never know. They're absolutely dripping with sensate. to have a have a like free offerings in a bit of a line along some sort of bank it could be this bank or it could be that bank and so the fish are just coming along as they do patrolling they find one a bit cautious maybe eat it come along find another one a bit less cautious eat it the next one and by the time they get the one to yours they're used to eating them and you get proper bites down here as well, you never know do you? Oh, perfect. It's perfect. And I've taken I've taken off. So I've got this up on a clip, but I can't leave it on the clip because some of the carp in here are over twenty pounds. So I'm taking it off the clip. But I've got a little marker on there look. Made out a little really really thin braid and so I'll know where to clip it up to next time. Not just a pretty face. Well I've got to win somewhere haven't I? <laughs> I'm just using my macro lens to show how, how it goes on the hook at the moment. On the hair. I can see every, every detail of the hair stuck on the macro lens. <laughs> Beautiful. What right thinking carp could resist? What is it? Is it a roach? I don't know what is it is. It's pulling a bit hard for a roach. Is it a sturgeon? Who knows? It's fighting very strangely. I thought that. That's the first one, you know. That, that was like really rapid in different directions. Like a trout. Trout? Could be a rainbow trout. Oh, it's come off again. You have to get some rid of them rubber rocks, aren't you? Hey? Oh. Damn it! 
<laughs> I've moved. It wasn't, the things weren't happening quick enough where I was. And when you're using Sensate, if the fish are there, you, you get action pretty damn quick. That's the whole purpose of, of Sensate. That's why it's called fish accelerant. So, I've moved. If you're not getting action, do something different. Travel light, move. And I came here and I just hooked and lost a double figure fish which I think might be good out of here and um, straight away so that's the story if if you're not catching move you're not in a match that's the advantage you've not been in a match you can fish where you want that's the biggest advantage you can have good one isn't it oh, much smaller than the last one I lost <laughs> I thought I don't care it's a carp that one was a bit longer I mean things are really hard today that was about Ten minutes, I think. He's feeling a bit bigger now. It's right under the rod tip. It's not one of those weird things. I'd say that's probably six or seven pound, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I showed you how big that little one was. And then the other way it went from, away from the hot spot. So that was on. Sumo. Drenched in yellow sensei. I think it was a white one. On a metal feeder. The screws ready. That's a ground bait. One of my weird hooks that I bent to make the right shape. On a hair. The quick stop. And um, shows we were right to move. Can't you can't catch fish if they're not there. This isn't um, commercial fishery. There's not that many fish in here. Looks like a beautiful mirror. You ever notice though, in some pools, the fish wait until they're under the rod tip before they start fighting? Come on. Better than boilies, I reckon. Gives up all that flavour. I think um, proper carp hens call them solubles. And they've realised that boilies that dissolve from the outside, giving off loads of flavour, attract the fish quicker. Oh, I'm glad they've caught up with me. Look at that. Oh, nice fish, eh? That was massive, isn't it? Yeah. 
Awesome. Awesome. I was just about to pack up. It, and it really was like a last second little job. I cast out, out there, got it right in the edge. I thought, I've got to do this quick before I go. And uh, cause I've got to go out for something tonight. My wife wants me back. And then suddenly, there it is. And I've la lost the last two fish. So I'm hoping this one will stay on and I'll get it in the net. I mean, I, how long was that there for? About three or four minutes again? It's that. Now, if they're there, they want it. It's a good fish, that, isn't it? It's about half the size of the one I lost, last one. This will be about the same size as the other one I land, which was, I don't know what that was, 12 pounds or something. Hard fighters, aren't they? Big fish in this lake. Mm. I went to hook one of them big sturgeon. Hey, that would give an account of itself. I hope I don't hook it when I come pole fishing next week. <laughs> You notice the harder they, the harder the fish fight, the bigger they seem. So when you land them, even if they turn out to be three pound, they look about ten. Because <laughs> <laughs> they put up a good fight. Ooh, it's like common. Lovely looking fish that. We all know commons fight harder and longer than mirrors. By size for size. They're just that little bit more closer to the original wildies, which have got more oxygen in their bloodstream. Is that what it is? Yeah. Never knew that. Yeah. They're like a, you know, the mirror carp. They've been selected to get big and fat like Americans. <laughs> Can't say that. that. Can't say that. You just did, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Feel like a little fishy. Put them a good account. Look at this. this I mean, this, this is two and a half pound tusk of rod. This is. It's taking some stopping. I've got on here a size 12. Oh, look at that. Brands hook. I'll tell you what, it's about as <laughs> size 6 of a match angler's hook. Match anglers don't use size 6 hooks, do we? If they did. <laughs> it's a big fish, that. It's not a fish. Tell you what, I'll be happy with that. No, I am happy. Oh, that's bigger than the last one. Isn't it? That's no, much smaller. Is it really? <laughs> I, I think that's a double figure fish. Oh, definitely. Well, Look at the condition of it. I know. That's gorgeous. Right, I'm going to get a photo of this, so we're going to have to say cheerio. <laughs> what a cracking common. <laughs>